Hello, everybody. Hello. Sorry about that. I got talking with Phoenix and then kind of la lost my, lost my, my, uh, I don't know what it's called. Don't, don't judge me. Okay. So I am going to work. I'm going to work. Well done, Bean. Well done. I'm going to work today. Um, I really need to get normal paint thinner. Excuse my scrubbish hair, but the hair stores are not open. So anyways, welcome to the Twisted Beanstalk. Um, let me just put some paint thinner in here real quick. Ooh, a little more down. And because I have to wipe my brushes a little bit here, but um, how's everybody doing? Come on, you son of a bee. There we go. See? <laughs> uh, yeah, times are times are changing, hey? Ooh, that just slobber knockered me right in the face. Uh, let me see here. My, oh, that one's okay. You think I would have done this before I started the video, but no. I like to be hard on myself. <sighs> okay, so I am working on this vampire baby, the realistic one still. Um, hello, I know. I was like, should I or shouldn't I? I'm just like, yeah, I should. It's been a while. It's so weird because time just flies. It's like one second you're making a video and you'll be like, okay, I'll be right back. And then a week goes by and you're just like, come back. You know, it just goes so fast. It's like, what the heck? what the heck but uh yeah so here is the vampire baby she doesn't have fangs quite yet because i usually do those more towards the end um uh, let's see here but but i am going to continue painting yes i am get excited and then i killed my fan so that was just great okay though I have another one I have a backup fan my son Phoenix is going to be doing some uploading some videos on my channel here uh, of like doing like eating ASMR he's like super into that and I was thinking about which one? This one? <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness, that paint thinner. Ooh, <laughs> I think I inhaled just a little bit too much when I did that. Uh, yeah, so he's going to be doing some, some videos and I'll probably... What kid is behind the vampire? So cute. So this one is... This is a Cassie Brace. Um... I think it's Ethan. I think his name is Ethan. I'm pretty sure it is. But I'm almost done, but I just haven't really, I don't know, just been kind of letting him sit there. I know. Nice mother I am. Sit there and don't move for four weeks. I know, it's such a cute face. It's all cute. He's just so cute. <sighs> okay, let me mix up some, some paint here. You know, I have, I have like, sometimes I tell myself, I'm like, okay, I have enough kits. Like literally if I, if I just painted the kits that I have, I probably would have enough kits for like, I don't even know. If I were to guess, I would say probably like, well, if I made two a month, two doll, yeah, two, which doesn't seem like that much, but hmm. Let me see. I'm not very good at like calculations. So, but I would say I have enough for like two, three, four years, maybe. <laughs> My husband is horrified with baby parts. Yeah, you get, you get used to it. You get used to it eventually. We have a new neighbor and I've creeped him out a few times. It's pretty funny, actually. 
gonna mix up some purple and I am gonna warm up this purple a little bit here with some white but I didn't want to waste it so I was like oh, I might as well just give it a little CPR with paint thinner right that's how we bring him to life over here okay yeah the so the one that is sitting in the front is going to be the realistic vampire like a just born baby and I'm probably like half maybe about halfway through oh get let's add a little bit of white oh my tattoos yeah they're dolls that I made this one here is, yes, it is going to be a vampire, newborn vampire baby, a just born baby, and it's about halfway done, and it has the, the torso as well with the boy junk, which I am not a fan of painting, but I, I contemplated, like, cutting it off. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to give it a little snip, right? Little snipperoo. Only that would be a big snip. I don't know if I'm qualified for that, you guys. <laughs> Can't believe it's Monday. Like, what the heck? Oh, yeah, it's 420. It's my best friend's birthday today. Then it's Phoenix's birthday tomorrow. And then it's my birthday on the 23rd. So a lot of birthdays. What was that? A lot, of, a lot of birthdays going on over here. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Let me take a little. What is that? What's that noise? <laughs> this is creeping me out. Um, these stairs, every time people... Let's see, uh, my hobbies are actually blurred out. I love making babies, LOL. I, I should probably elaborate on the baby being dolls. Yeah, I go through that all the time too. It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> they're fake. Every time I say that I make dolls, people will be like, so they'll be like, um, Oh, what do you what do you do? And I'm like, I'm an artist. And then they automatically are like, I mean, there's so it's such a broad statement. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, I mean, it could be anything really. But I'm like, no, oh, I make dolls. Oh, porcelain dolls. What kind of dolls? Hyper realistic dolls are called reborns, except for I make like, you know, fantasy ones like pixies, vampires and zombies and blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, Hmm. I'm like, let me just show you. And then I show them and they're like, oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> but, you know, regardless, um, I find that regardless, they say they're creepy. Like, it, it doesn't matter if they're vampires or <laughs> the manor elves. Yeah, they it doesn't matter. It's like no matter what, they just think they're creepy. So, <clears throat> So it is what it is, right? Okay, don't worry, little baby. Yeah, I'm gonna slobber knocker some paint all over your face right now. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, so let me see. <clears throat> Where is my flat brush? Oh, here it is. Here's my flat brush. Hey, that's enough of that. No whimpering or whining around here today. <laughs> Right? No whimpering and, and whining. Whimpering and... I don't know. That didn't come out properly. But, okay. So, anyways, to get back to my, uh, my son doing the ASMR. So, be prepared to see those videos. <clears throat> and being... Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bean and everyone. Hello, Jerry. How are you? How are you? How were you? <laughs> How did that make you feel, me saying it that way? Felt good, right? Get you all pumped, ready to go do some yoga. <laughs> I don't know why, why I said yoga, like what? <laughs> 
I always wish that I did yoga, but I can't because my boobs are too big. And so like I bend over and it's just like, just knocks me out. You guys have that issue? I'm fabulous, of course. Um, by the way, I am putting this color on because uh, I want it a little more pale before I start. Can somebody let Boundary out, please? Um, yeah, so I'm just doing this just to make it a little more pale and to build up the color again. Um, these dolls are actually hard for me to make, the hyper-realistic ones. <gasps> excuse me, the, the, uh, just born ones. I don't know. It's like, uh, cry because the baby is so cute. Ow. <clears throat> so basically what I'm doing is I'm just adding a little more to like a little more paleness, pale, paleness, paleness is probably the word I'm looking for. Oh yeah. And I killed my van, my fan. Gave it CPR and it worked for a little bit, but then it fully died. I had to go get another one. I was like, no, my bad. That does happen though to me. Hello, Cassandra. I've killed actually quite a bit of fans. Just saying. Some are really loud. That one was actually really quite quiet and I really liked it because it was quiet for when I made videos, but now I'm back to the other one. See what I have to put up with, you guys? Broken fans. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you wreck my day, fan? Yeah, it's just not, it's not proper that I have to put up with broken fans. <laughs> wow, Bean, you are so entitled. I know. I am very entitled. Um, Let me see here. Send hubby out in the in the COVID. My husband has been doing massive gardening. Oh yeah, and by the way, gardening went up three hundred percent. Three hundred percent. Three three not three percent, not thirty percent. No, three hundred percent. They are like, oh man, my husband has been doing major gardening like. <sighs> He's actually in the garden right now. Oh, wait, is that him? No, nope, just kidding. That's a tarp. Thought it was him. And apparently my husband looks like a tarp, and that's why I confused the two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, no, it, I mean, it's very different having... Like Monday is my working day. Like Monday, I mean, even though the kids are home and people are off work, I'm actually still working. So, uh, and I have no complaints there. I mean, I love, even, I mean, even if I, I would be working anyways, honestly, because I sometimes like a couple days ago, um, I was, <clears throat> excuse me, I was, uh, what was I doing a couple days ago? I don't know because I have horrible memory. What was I doing? <laughs> I already forgot what I was going to say. Uh, oh, yeah. That, I know. So cute, little footsie. Um, I, so I'm still working, and Monday is a, is a working day. But, I mean, Monday kicks in, and then all of a sudden, I get totally bombarded with, Hey, Carol! Um, I get bombarded with emails from the schools. It's like you know, and then I, and then I, I'm like, ugh, if then it does something to me and then I go and paint because painting makes me relax. <laughs> oh boy. I don't even know. I don't even freaking know. Okay. It's a Monday. You're supposed to be at school. <laughs> uh, school is over. The <laughs> Except for the people who homeschool, right? The show-offs who have, like, 15 kids who homeschool. <laughs> I feel like if you have 15 kids, the, the mom is probably taking care of, like, the, the new babies kind of thing. And then the older ones have to teach the younger ones. Because there's no way that 
somebody is going to be able to teach 10, 15 different kids at all stages. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a, it's a, just a system you have to get used to. And for me, it's extremely hard, which I've said before, because I am not good at sitting down and concentrating whatsoever. Like any kind of reading, writing, nope. It's just, it's, it's hard for me. And I, <sighs> see, you see what I put up with foot? Yeah, I know. I know you have my back. It's okay. You guys, the feet, they have my back over here. Okay. Let's hang you up to dry. There you go. All cozy and warm by the fan. Actually, I feel like that probably wouldn't be very warm. Hey, Taylor. What's up? What's up, Taylor? What's up? I don't know why I just did it in that voice. Hooray from Scotland. Hello to Scotland. How's Scotland doing? Doing okay? I bet it's beautiful. What's your weather like right now? I wonder what season, what season are you in? <laughs> I bet it's a lot like my weather here in Washington. Maybe, maybe not. I think the UK is about the same. Gosh, she does really nice feet though. Elisa Marks. She, she does really cute newborn baby looks too. Every time I paint, I'm getting closer and closer to my face and I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. and it's not good for me because my lungs start burning. You would think I would learn, but nope. Not this, not this old dog, right? Can't teach old dog tricks. It's not true though. Look what we're learning right now in society. Our stores have like one way sunny and cold. So here it's like, uh, I don't know. It's been, it's been really nice. It's okay. Just going a bit mad. Weather is amazing here. Yeah. Weather has been so beautiful here. Like just oh it's been so nice like we even had a had a uh, outdoor we had like a bonfire a couple days ago we have a fire pit hello to holland oh my goodness we're getting them from everywhere how awesome is that okay another leg is done just like that so now i have to do the torso so excuse me Oh, she lives in Ferndale? Oh, man, Ferndale is like super close to me. So I took off the sticker. <laughs> Wait, who saw the sticker? Weather is nice and sunny here, beautiful. It has been so nice here. Like it, people just been gardening like crazy and <laughs> people who are off work are, you know, pretty much going stir crazy. So they have to do something. So my husband has just been, normally he works nights. So he goes to work <laughs> in Sweden. Oh my gosh, even the frogs, you can hear the frogs, you can hear the birds, they're all singing. And it's like, spring has really kicked in. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so nice. It has been really, really nice. Like beautiful, crisp air, spring air. Yep, I'm covering his junk right now. It's okay. It's okay, you guys. It's PG. Keeping it PG over here. For a moment. <laughs> I'm not a fan of painting these, like I said, but... My friggin' dogs are gonna be barking. There you go! Yeah! Let's see. Ah, oh, these are so awkward to paint. Oh, my paintbrush isn't long enough. Here. Twyla! <laughs> you guys, I'm tapping on the window and my dog is looking straight up in the air. Like she's so deaf. Twyla! Twyla! Oh 
my god you guys have to see this watch let's see if i can turn it ah oh it's too high okay watch she's still looking she's still looking to see where the noise came from okay <laughs> can you see her crap you can't see her twyla <laughs> oh my god okay look where is she oh there she is okay look at her running around dirt the dirt dirt who? Who called me? Twyla! <laughs> she's still looking. See if she comes out on the other side. Oh. Twyla! You guys, she's still looking. Twyla! Twyla! <laughs> Over there. Twy Twy. <whistles> Twyla. 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 <laughs> you guys, it's she's hopeless. <laughs> and my other dog is in here. Because she can hear me and comes in. But Twyla's still back there staring into space. <laughs> not not knowing what's going on. Okay, we're back. My poor doggy, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, though. No. Oh, she's on the other side. Other side of the... <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Let me move that. <laughs> She's like, her head is up and she's just like, oh, I think she found her way. She's in the other living room now. Let's see. Twyla. Twyla. Twy. Twyla. 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 You guys, she is so deaf. Yay! You did it! You did it! Hey! You did it! Try, try! <sighs> Say hi! <laughs> you did it! Oh, were you lost? Mm? Were you lost? Yeah. Or twy twy. <laughs> She's like. <sighs> okay. So let me see what is over in this view. <laughs> Hear her snorting. She's such a snorter. Okay. Shall we pick up where we left off? And I can see where I left off because it's shiny. Just thinking about you. I was thinking, huh, Bean hasn't made a video in a bit. <laughs> I know, it's like the time just like friggin' goes. And uh, yeah, time just flies when you're having fun over here in the New England Beans Ock. Well, I don't know if I can trust her at that fun, but <laughs> it's okay, we're painting a butt. Right? That makes everybody's day better. But yeah, this is kind of shiny. I put uh, linseed oil in my mix because I used white in with the, the purple, like the mauve purple. And so it just makes it go on like smoother. Like smooth. It just like goes on smoother. I know. Nothing's better than smacking a booty. 
Because otherwise, if you were to put a thicker white on it, um, it's going to go chalky. Like a, like a chalky. Where's my sticker? Where's my sticker? Where is it, you guys? Where the heck is it? Um, oh, I think I might have, I might have found something over here that I can, that I can use. Is this sticky? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to cover your junk right now. Don't worry. No, no reason to feel uncomfortable. Okay. Got you. Okay, so it, it's kind of covered. <laughs> I should patent this, right? So it doesn't pee in your face while you're painting it, right? They like to pee and it just... <laughs> you're editing? Oh, boo. Well, I'm just making... Ah! No, none of that, okay? None of that. I'm just making baby G-strings over here, okay? Don't panic. Don't panic. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. But anyways, let me get back to the whole... Um, is it legit to show it? I don't know. I just... <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I think you can, but it's just awkward when I paint it. So I'd rather just cover it and then just, I, I do paint it, but I paint it off camera because it's, especially when you're holding these, they're, they're just so like, I don't know. I just don't want to give it the no feeling because you know, your teachers, when they teach you shout no, like you mean it and run the other way. The last thing I need is a torso running down the street because it's getting the no feeling. Then before you know it, Bean will be on the news and they'll be like, artist paints torso and torso runs down the street. Right? Maybe I should do that so I can go viral. I don't know if I'd wanna be viral for a torso running down the street with its junk hanging out. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be that person, you guys. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, so some people go stir crazy. So I do not, though. Look it. You can, like, I didn't even notice you can see under there right now. <laughs> and I'm painting it, and it's, like, right there. Nice friend you are, Torso. God, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, I'm trying to patent your G-string and you're just showing people that it doesn't actually work. What a jerk. What a jerk you are. Oh. It's okay. I'm gonna give you a little blend and you'll feel much better. But yeah, so if you were to put just like a thick white on this, it would start going really chalky. And what I mean by chalky is it doesn't cure properly. Like, it's like if you scratch it, it'll have the <laughs> two, two peats in a pod. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, wake up over there. Look at the torso slobber knockered. It's okay. You're gonna, you're gonna get a, get a, get a, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. I think I won't elaborate on that. Don't change her face. I'm I'm putting some grape yogurt on her. It's okay. Trust me, I'm a doctor. This face is so cute. The lips are amazing. And I'm gonna paint the hair so it kind of looks wet. I love doing that. It 
And then after, so after this, where do you get your reborn molds from? Uh, you mean like the kits? I get them, there's a few places that I get them from, but generally I order from McPherson's, like uh, McPherson's art, <coughs> art. Is it McPherson's Arts and Crafts? I think it's McPherson's Crafts is what you, what it says. I don't know, you'd have to go and look. I mean, I've only been buying from them for 10 years. Yeah, you would think I would know that by now. But McPherson's Arts and Crafts, they're in Canada, but they ship, it's free shipping, and they ship like crazy fast. Like, I'm not even joking. Sometimes I'll get the tracking, it'll be like, your package has been delivered. I'm like, what? Wow. It's super impressive. Like, I'm not even joking. It's Although, yeah, it's fast. For international, it's like two, two days, or it's fast. And just in case you're wondering how fast it is, it's fast. <laughs> Glad we could clarify that. And then I also buy from Bountiful Baby. Uh, I probably, if, I probably buy, like, from Bountiful Baby. Uh, hmm. I probably buy, how many a year do I buy? A lot, probably. I don't know. I, I buy freaking... I use a lot of their kits. I especially like the older ones to make with my beanstalk buds because they just look so cute. But um, anyway, so after this layer, I would bake it um, because it has the, it's not going to dry. Like if you were to put how, sometimes you put like a wash on it and then it'll dry and then you can continue to paint and kind of go back and forth. But this has linseed oil on it and also a thicker paint so it would it makes more sense to just bake it and cure it than um, starting again because otherwise you're just gonna like smudge your your paint around and it's just gonna be all kinds of bad so I'm gonna paint I'm, I'm gonna paint it now now I'm gonna paint it I'll be right back <laughs> to go get the the torso here take off his his little g-string it's okay guy I'm gonna give you some color on those yep no need to worry no need to worry there we go so I'm gonna bake this one For some reason, my ovens, like one button is like way more worn off than the other and I'm, I don't know why. Let's see, let's back it up a little bit here. Um, they are expensive, but too many to choose from. I see baby's face. Um, about to raise their price over $10 a kit. Yeah, it's because um, they don't, they're not getting shipments in right now. So they have to just spread out the kits that they have. Um, but let's see. 
find in the UK for hiking prices up because of okay so I want to go back to that hold on one second here mass for a reopen and the price going is crazy I want a business here in mass oh um Kayla let me see hello to Netherlands my gosh you guys we are rock stars like seriously um so there was something I was gonna say about the COVID um <laughs> fingers too quick for the brain yeah that's like my mouth is like <clears throat> and then I'm like how did that even why how um so okay so McPherson is shipping they have major business um they can even like they're so busy right now because of people buying supplies and it depends on where your supplier is from but so they don't sell bountiful baby kits or uh <clears throat> um uh, Realborns. Realborns is from, um, Realborns is specifically from like baby scans, which Bountiful Baby sells. But it, so some of the factories are closed or I don't know when they're, they're going back up or whatever. So they're just kind of stretching out what Bountiful Baby for sure. I know the prices, like normally they get so many and like huge amounts and then I mean I'll buy like 10 and 15 kits when they go on sale um and they have a lot of sales and they have like really good affordable prices <clears throat> but unfortunately because of everything and then coming from China they're like you know backed up but um I know that McPherson's still like hers is like super busy um but yeah so there's that <clears throat> and also international shipping I just noticed this um, on Etsy I had a couple international sales and then I send them and for some reason it automatically ha went to like a distributing center which I've never seen before I know that they have that on eBay where they have to pay or they have hold <laughs> <laughs> Uh, excuse me. I uh, 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 sorry, excuse me. Um <laughs> thank you. So uh <clears throat> I'm just gonna hold on one second. I'm gonna sanitize my hands because I feel like it's me. It's coming. Ugh. I got the sneezes and it's making my brain come out through my nose. <laughs> um, so anyways, back to this whole international thing. Um, it's so weird. It, it like literally printed out this label for a, for a U.S. distributing center and then we'll go international. And then I, I bought something internationally and normally I get it by now but he emailed me and he's like oh yeah things are slow because apparently so many people are making medical masks or like masks for COVID and not claim like there's some sort of rule around it and I don't I don't know enough about it but yeah if anybody wants to like google it I don't know if it would be on there but um, they said that it's because people are selling masks like crazy and they're not claiming them or there's like a certain tax that comes off of those because you're making a profit from a pandemic. So I just thought that was really strange. I've never seen that before. Like what the heck? Because he mentioned something to me and I was like, that's weird because I sell things internationally. But then as soon as like a couple days later, I got it happened to me which is weird because I sell dolls um hundred bucks for a hundred masks for work yeah like I know so I know that a lot of people are making these masks and I don't know I have mixed emotions about them honestly like I feel like okay that's good you're not working so you're selling masks and you're selling them but then again at the same time they're making a profit of something that is like so awful so I feel like for me personally, I wouldn't do that because I, I have a guilt, a very guilty conscience. Like I'm just like that. Like 
the, my daughter is the same <laughs> the same way. It's like you do things, you kind of get that like <sighs> wrong feeling. I mean, if people want to do that, that's fine. But I'm just saying, like for me personally, I don't want to make a profit off of something that is so awful. You know? Yeah, a lot of people are giving them out. Exactly. Like we we made a whole bunch, and they're so cute. They're like unicorn ones with rainbows, and we donated them. Like I, we made them. We went to um, one of the the places out here. It's called Skookum, and it's like this house. Or like this place where kids go um, when they have they they don't have a placement for fostering, so they go to this kind of like this. It's not a group home because a lot of there's younger kids that go there too, but it's volunteers and it's these children that haven't had placement yet, so they have nowhere to go. So then they go to this specific place, and so we just donate them, like. And if people can't donate them, that's fine, you know. But I don't know. I just I would feel weird doing it like I would feel guilty honestly it just is one of those things that uh, people make want to make a profit off of something that is just so devastating and it's just doesn't make me feel good um let's see I make them for friends and family yeah uh Let's see. Many people are giving them out for free. For free. It's helping. Ah. Let's see. I agree. Don't charge for them. I've never heard of Pup and Drumland. Um. <clears throat> yeah, the foster care system is insane right now. It's insane normally, but like right now, it's like, ugh. Yeah, so, okay, so there's, yeah, she's saying that a whole bunch of people are making them. So here in the U.S., uh, through Joann's, they sent out some supplies and, uh, uh um, um, let's see, I'm going to finish up this baby right now. Uh, they donated, um, what was it so far? It was like something insane, like. 50 million or something it's like all these people just got together well not together but like in their own houses and just made all these these masks and this was before there started to become like a rush to make them like now on etsy they're all over the place so it's like it's just crazy to me now they're everywhere it's like ugh. and then some people get the get that attitude like well if they're gonna do it I'm gonna do it kind of thing and I feel like if they were to sell them but maybe like donated half or something I don't know I just think it would just make me feel guilty honestly I, I don't know it's like I would think about all the doctors and the nurses that are literally like in harm's way every single day totally just working their asses off and don't have enough equipment so then i think about that and then it just it wouldn't make me feel good but donating them would make me feel good but i'm not everybody so can only really sp speak for myself <clears throat> let's see how the 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 eyebrow gods are looking down on me today. Um, I had to ship a package today and there was three old people taking one foot away from each other with no masks. Aww. Did you get the yawning baby kit you like? No, there. it says that it's, hello, hello, hello. Um, in, yeah, cause she's in Ferndale, right? Well here, I mean, we're pretty, it's not too, too bad because we're a little more of a rural area, but yeah, it's, it's cray cray, you guys. That's all I got to say about that. Just cray cray. put some yellow in this to just make it a little more of a skin color. See, boom, just like that. 
So something has changed on Etsy. I don't, I don't know. I think I think it has to do with the masks, like why they're any international. It's just strange. I'm getting three crits from, pup oh yeah. Uh, pu let's see, Puppin Trumlin. Should be, let's see. Um, I don't think that I've, is that Tink? No, because I know that there's um, Tinkerbell Nursery as well. That is, I think that one's in the UK. We have an old gentleman who will be 100 on the 30th. He started walking up and down his garden to raise money. Thousand pound. He has raised over 22 million. Wow. It's crazy. so funny how different people are and how they they take everything you know it's like everybody deals with it differently uh let me see i am going to actually Actually, I'm going. I'm gonna do some. Uh, I want to do some creasing. You saw that article? Uh -huh. Oh, Germany. Okay, because there's also one in the UK, which is the I think it's called Tinkerbell Nursery. Um, there, they sell. I think, you know, I actually think that they sell uh, some Bountiful Baby kits, if I remember correctly. Sometimes if I need a specific kit and I need it like right now and I can't get it from my normal dealers, then I, I will uh, go to other, other places to get them. Right? Gotta do what you gotta do. It's okay. We're gonna get, we're gonna give you eyebrows later. Like, geez, wipe that wipe that look off your face. Yeah, before I smack it. <laughs> hey, Crystal. Oh my God, I was thinking about you the other day. Not in like a weird perverted way, but just saying. I'm, I just had to clarify that. <laughs> I'm selling babies. I've considered selling some of my older babies, but I'm worried that isn't a good market for the moment. Everyone, I go on Tinkerbell. They always out of stock. Okay, yeah, so Tinkerbell, I sometimes go to if I am looking for a specific kit, but rarely does that happen. Rarely, rarely. Okay, let's, let's give this little lady some creases, shall we? Give her some pink creases. What are you doing in there? Yep, this color looks good. Thank of you too. Long seeing your work, your magic. <laughs> well, thank you. I know I was like, oh my gosh, I need to like get on there and and speaking of Tinkerbell creations, for some reason, like I was just talking about vinyl the other day to somebody, uh, for some reason, like though the what those kits from the cradle, um, I don't know, like the the vinyl is like super, it like doesn't take the paint very good at all. I mean, not like some take it so nicely like some it is amazing to paint but then you get some vinyl that is just a son of a bee to paint and i don't know why it must be i i guess it's probably the factories that they go to but it's i notice it in a couple different people's kits that have that kind of like 
I don't know, it's like the vinyl is firmer and it's a little bit hard to cure it really nice. It gets... Those who paint will know what I'm talking about. It's just different. going to I think I'm gonna be a rebel and hey can you open those the ovens for me please my the ovens and bring me my doll pieces <laughs> and bring them to me and paint them and ship them Okay, I'm gonna give her some nice pink toes. Sometimes I chase my kids with the hot. Um, ABC, if you can help me. What does that mean, ABC? Like you wanna learn, you want me to sing you the ABCs? I mean, I can do that. If you need me to sing the ABCs, I have your back, I have it. But let me warn you, I say Z and not Z. Anybody else? Anybody else say Z out there? Anybody, anybody? I, I know that, uh, so it's in Canada. That's how we're taught to say it. Z. Oh, I knew it. I knew you would. See? In case you're wondering, Scotland says Z and not Z. <laughs> you too? Wait, where are you from again? Wait, are you from? I forget. We have Holland, Netherlands, Scotland, uh, American, Canadian. We say Z too? Oh, the Netherlands. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, that that just makes my day. It looks she looks better with the pink toes. I like it. Um, let me see. Was it a mistake to buy a baby on eBay? I do not know. You tell me. I'm thinking about moving to Canada. I can't handle people here anymore. <laughs> Wait, are you can you move to Canada? Do you have Canadian citizenship? If not, I'll marry you and you can come live in Canada. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm already married. Oh, Maverick has some limbs. What do I do? Special limbs. Just hang them up. Uh, uh, Did you know that in the Netherlands, the UK, Scotland, and Holland say Z, not Z? Yeah. You did not. Yeah, because, like, I watch... No, I did watch some. Oh, on YouTube. Yeah, I watched something. Here, just put it up, up that one. Yeah. Okay, well, you're smarter than me. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I knew that. I need the torso, too. Yeah, so sometimes if my, one of my kids is on the couch, I'll go by them, and I'll be like, I'll just put, like, a limb on them real quick, and they're like, ah. <laughs> So funny. Oh, uh, let me see. Okay, okay then. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about e eBay these days. I prefer Etsy but you have to gain momentum on it for it to work. Um, okay, you have to hang it up, but make sure it's junk isn't facing the camera. Nope, other way. His butt can, yeah, right there. Oh, uh, where? Um, yeah, right there by the fad. Here? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. 
I miss Canada, but I mean, there's a lot of things that I really like out here too. So I have a Canadian passport and I've never given up my Canadian citizenship, but my husband was not happy about it. He wanted me to have, you know, like switch over, but I was like, uh, nope, sorry, that's never going to happen. And at one point he was going to move into or move to Canada, but it just, I, I really, I don't know. I was kind of like eh about it at first. It really, what part of Canada that surprises me. This, oh, uh, this is the Severine kit. <laughs> Waiting for her eyes to come in. Normally I have the eyes in at this point, but I'm still waiting. Um, so anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so at one point he was going to move to Canada, but Canada is also like a gong show where I lived. It was, it's just, it wasn't as bad when I was a kid, but now it's, it's quite bad. And there's like a lot of, a lot of like break-ins and like crackheads and always like, robbing or vehicles and there's always something that happens like it's just it's not it's such a big city and I just didn't want my kids growing up there like I thought well at least we can kind of get out of get out of the city and so now like I'm really really glad that I did at first it was kind of a shell shock but I'm not far from the Canadian border so it's not it's not too too bad um, and at first I was going to Canada all the time. Like, I mean, I could just pick up and go. It is super close. So, and now, of course, I love that I did because now we can actually afford to buy a house. There's no way I've been able to buy a house at all in, in Surrey. I mean, we're talking about, a, well, so, okay, let's see. So it would, it would be... I mean, I think it's about as expensive as California, but I'm not entirely, tr entirely sure, but it's, it's a lot, you guys. It, so many people show up for a house that's for sale. And so for like a two bedroom, for example, a two bedroom condo, uh, is like four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000. Like that's like a tiny we're talking like a tiny like 600 square foot apartment for a house that is a two bedroom like a rancher house which is like a one level uh is like nine hundred thousand dollars it's so so expensive like the working class people are so screwed there it's sad and so they're moving further and further into the valley but still, like, a jug of milk is $8. Your rent, if you have a big family, I have this friend who has four kids. They rent, they rent a house in Surrey, and it's $4,800 a month to rent it. Like, it's more people live in, in poverty than, this is crazy. It's just like, What? And it's not even a nice area. Like I said, it's a total gong show. Always friggin' something happening. And here it's like quiet and... Eventually I'll get property though. I really, really want a hobby farm. But when we went house shopping, we were looking at property to begin with. Really wanted property, but my career was kind of like taking off, and so I kind of changed a little bit. Uh, they go for seven hundred fifty thousand, but bidding war can go up to nine hundred for three. Yeah, so that's that's what happens there. It's like a bidding war, and like a hundred people show up to a house opening. They're like you know eight hundred thousand dollars, and you're living in this little cardboard box because there's not enough. It's crazy. Like I'm, I am so glad that I moved out here. <sighs> but anyway, so I forget what I was saying now <laughs> about it being a gong show, probably. 
Oh yeah, about property. That's right. Okay, so I want when we first started house shopping, we looked at property because I really, really, really wanted a farm. Like I wanted property so badly, but the houses weren't as nice. And my kids were like, my youngest was two. So a couple that we went and looked at were on this like little kind of um, like pond lake access, but then it didn't have an area to where I could watch the kids if they were playing outside. So that kind of drove me a little bit crazy, but I really loved the property. It was like five acres and it was okay. But I don't know, none of them really stood out to me. I was like, uh, I felt like, like I had to have a studio and my, like I said, my career was taking off. And so then I started questioning, well, if I have property, am I actually gonna have time to take care of the animals? And it you know, so, which I probably wouldn't. Um, and then we came to Sudden Valley and looked at this house and I was like, oh my God, mine. Just like that. I said, I said it just like that to the, to the travel, wait, not a travel agent. What is he? Where are the people that do houses? Realtor? Yes. Yes, Bean. See, 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 sometimes you remember things. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Um, I just painted the wrong hands. Did anybody notice that I just painted the wrong hands? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I just painted the wrong one, you guys. Did anybody know, and nobody warned me. <laughs> it actually looks really good though. It's okay, you know what? You're not my friend anymore. These are the hands that I'm supposed to be painting. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's just great. <laughs> Off topic, you're gonna be eight, yeah, real estate agent. People are still ordering, yes. Yep. I have to go to the post office today. Actually, I have a few packages I have to send out. I thought I was really, really worried for my business. And I mean, I still kind of am because I don't know for sure like what's going on. I mean, nobody does, but uh, I don't know. I'm still, still happening. So I'm pretty happy about that. She has such chubby hands. This is a really old kit, but it's a good one. It's a good one. So I'm gonna finish doing this, her hands. And then I am going to bake it and then start, I guess. Oh yeah. And then fin and then I'll seal it, seal it up. So what, like one, okay. So one, so two more bakes and she'll be done. And then I'm gonna start rooting. It's gonna take me a few days to root her. It's with mohair, so I can actually uh, root fastest in mohair rather than like, you know, the human hair takes a really long time. Um, let me see. If that makes me happy for you. I should be supporting small businesses right now. To oh, I know it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I am very fortunate. My husband's off work though. I mean, he works like all in Seattle. He does deliveries and it's all like in Seattle and like Southern area from here. So he stays, stays busy. But I'm kind of just doing the same thing. So it's good. Tis good. Yeah, so I will bake this baby after. 
and then do the ceiling. And when I do the ceiling, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to, okay. Okay. You guys, just so you know, I'm going to paint the right hand now. I know sometimes I do that jerk. Nice Fred. You are. Yeah. You're trying to have a newborn limb, newborn hand. It doesn't even match your other one. Somebody is, somebody is a little abstract. Just painting Gabriel kit has boy parts too. Oh, hey Francis, how are you? Yeah, I don't, I don't paint a lot of those boy parts, but it just, it goes with the kit. Like it looks, what are you gonna do, right? What the heck are you gonna do? And like I said, those ones are a little trickier to do because you're always adjusting your color. I mean, you could, I, I guess technically you could just have your own same color palette, but I don't only because I paint different kinds of dolls. So I like to just do it this way. Okay, don't judge me. Don't judge me the way I paint. <sighs> oh. Don't cry over spilt milk. Gosh, it is so beautiful out today. Okay, let me get your fat little fingers painted here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, oh boy. That's all I gotta say. Thank goodness business is still I just don't know what I would do. I, it's just such a, I just love painting and making dolls. And it's, it's like being creative is something that I have to do. It just is just in my, in my brain, in my entrepreneur brain too. Like I'm always coming up with ideas. So it's like if I didn't have that, I would be so sad. But I am thinking, okay, by the way, so I have, uh, I have, uh, limbs, like a ton, like I have so many, you guys, like because of doing my beanstalk buds and I'm thinking about selling them and I just wanted your opinion if I should, cause I have like, I'm not even joking. I have probably have a hundred, I have so many. And I was thinking about just taking a picture and then posting them on Etsy some of them are nice limbs because they're the real, the real born limbs. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Should I do that? I feel like it would make sense to do something like that. Yes. Need 13 inch limbs. Do you have any 13 inch? So I have such a huge combination. Like I have uh, bean. Okay. So I have bean kit, uh, bean limbs. Um, I think I, uh, let me see. Wait, what inch did you say? I think I do because I have the preemie, preemie ones from Bountiful Baby. Uh, I have real born. I have regular ones. I have bigger ones from like miles. And so from miles bean, um, from Zane, I think his name is. I can't remember his name, but I have all sizes. Sometimes like every so often I'll use a bountiful baby limb, like a, because they're all full, most are full, full limbs that I use. So sometimes I'll switch it up and I'll use like a real born limb. Yeah. Message me, message me on Facebook. Cause I'm sure I do. Cause I have all the the preemies like and they're cute limbs I was like what am I gonna do with this and then these and then somebody's like oh well you know that people need practicing limbs too so just sell them it's like oh haha <laughs> good idea Dog is out there barking again. She probably doesn't even know what she's barking about out there. <sighs> yep. 
Yeah, so I'll probably just put them on Etsy would be the easiest, I think. <laughs> These lips, though. I love talking to you guys. You know that I really do. Like, I am so thankful. I'm just, I'm thankful that you guys are here and watching and hanging out with me. <laughs> I'm just so lonely. I'm so lonely, you guys. I'm so lonely without you. And you're here. You're here. And she's, yeah, uh, Oh, for Facebook? I'm pretty sure if you put in Twisted Beanstalk Nursery, you'd find me, but I think it's actually Bean Shanine. Those pouty lips. <laughs> so funny. Okay, I see a hair and I don't, let me see. Let me see, you little hairy lip. Let me get, let me see what's going on here. Come on, you effer. I really love these little brushes. Yeah, paint some lips over here. Hi, 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 Jamie. My name's Bean. Welcome. Welcome to the Bean Gong Show. Oh, uh huh. Oh my gosh, the sun is shining like crazy. Yeah, it is. Even if you have a pissy face. Yeah, see, look, sun is shining, okay? Get happy, get happy. She's not happy, you guys. She is not happy. Should we paint some eyebrows on her? What do you think? You guys wanna paint some eyebrows? So she's gonna have, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let's hope that the the eyebrow lash, the eyebrow lash. <laughs> How do words even come out of my mouth that way? <laughs> let's, let's hope that the eyebrow gods are looking, looking over me right now. I think they are. 10 17 p.m. there that's way past my bedtime let's see hey miss snorty pants i hear you over there Starting, starting the eyebrows. Hey, nobody's talking to you, Boundary. Yeah, don't, don't come over here at, oh wow. Now you're just gonna growl.
excuse me ignoring you for a second, but Your growling made me just mess up my eyebrow, jerk. <sighs> I think we're I think we might be doing okay on the on the eyebrows today. she's cool barking at people her eyebrows are a little bit funny because she's like she's frowning so much so the vinyl is is like no, it's like a little bit bumpy. Bumpy, is that the word I'm looking, trying to look for? see here. <laughs> that face okay so I did the eyebrows and now I am just gonna add let's see let's see if this How's she looking? 
Yeah, she's going to have white hair. White rooted hair. And I probably, um, okay, so human hair is, personally, it's easier for me to do, and uh, thank you, Taylor, it's easier to do because you can feel the hairs going in, but it just takes longer because you can't, like, go as fast as mohair for some reason, but on mohair, I break a lot of needles, and but it can go in faster. So I don't know. I don't know if that answered your your question. But and um, I think I'm going to just add some uh, eyelashes at the bottom. Yeah, human hair is thicker, so it's you can feel it like it, some people cannot do human hair at all but they can do really really beautiful newborn mohair where it's like covered or it's uh you know it's like one like it looks so realistic some people are so good at that and but then they can't they can't paint or i mean they can't root human hair so i think it really honestly depends on the person of what you're comfortable with because in my opinion uh human hair is easier to root it just takes longer okay I didn't even get to that other baby. Said I was gonna paint the hyperrealistic -realist baby and I didn't even do another layer on it. Way to go, Bean. Gah! Way to clickbait, people. <laughs> okay. I really hope her eyes come today. A lot of time you can root the eyelashes, most people do, but I'm a rebel. So I paint mine, okay? Yeah, when they have crabby faces like that, you gotta you gotta try to cheer them up and give them some nice, nice long eyelashes. They're so pretty. What are you? Husband's trying to creep me out by my window. Oh man, what the F did I just do there? I just screwed it up, you guys. Oh, just screwed it right up. Throw it away. <laughs> just kidding. I would never do that. Oopsie. Yeah, so I think that I, what I'm going to do is finish the painting today seal it up start the rooting and then just like you know do the just just commit <laughs> just commit to it at that point right where you're just like this is getting done today and this is a custom and she's super excited for her, for her baby.
Hmm. Okay. So, here she is. Let me see, where's my... Sometimes you can see it a little bit better when the light isn't shining right on its face. So here she is. There's her painted eyelashes. And then, um, so I'll bake her and then come back. And I would do like the, the, seal, the sealer, but also at that point, put a little more uh, 3D, like a little more white in the eyebrows to like really make it 3D. And then probably just um, do a little more in the eyelashes. Although I, gosh, I wonder, I should, ch I should check the tracking actually. I bet you I get it today. I probably do. So I'll just, I have to put the eyes in, I guess, when it's hot, which I don't normally do, but Yeah, so that's her. I'm just waiting for her green eyes to come in and then I will probably just root her over the next couple days and get her done. Get her freaking done, right? Say it just like that too. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go. Thank you for hanging out with me. We did a good we did a good a good one today. We did a good one today, guys. We did. Um, but yeah, and it's so nice out. So I have a couple things I have to ship and, uh, but I did want to finish that one. So it made my, my painting a lot more fun. So thank you. Thank you for that. And I shall see you in my next video and you guys have an awesome day. Okay. Bye.